This is Father David Celery with this week's focus, The Righteous. Dear friends, for someone who never says a word recorded in Scripture, Joseph makes a very powerful statement in this week's Gospel. Joseph the betrothed of Mary, Joseph the protector of Jesus, Joseph the faithful provider comes to us in Scripture as Joseph the silent. But while he never says a single word, there's a single word said of him that speaks volumes. Matthew's Gospel tells us Joseph is righteous. It's a word that's gotten a bad rap lately. Mistakenly, it's become synonymous with self-righteous. And consequently, it's been identified with all the petty, often vicious behaviors that mindset implies. A self-righteous person is judgmental, boiling over with righteous indignation for every real or imagined slight. Clearly, that isn't Joseph. If Joseph had been judgmental and self-righteous, his reaction to the news of Mary's pregnancy, well, it would have been very, very different. To the self-righteous, the proud opinions are the measure of rectitude. In that light, Joseph would have been furious. He would have lined up to cast the first stone to punish his seemingly errant bride-to-be. But Joseph was righteous, not self-righteous. The source of his righteousness was not pride, it was faith in God, in His love and in His mercy, the same love and mercy He extended to Mary, well before He learned that her child was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Hebrew word used to describe Joseph is Sedek. It's not a word that denotes virtue in the abstract so much as it describes a pattern of behavior. We don't have an equivalent English word, but we do have an expression that captures its essence. Joseph was right with the Lord, and that's what guided every aspect of his life. By prevailing community standards, Joseph was shirking his responsibility. Let the girl get away unpunished, and where will it all end? But Joseph's measure of rectitude was not his standing in the community or even the letter of the law. You see, he wasn't driven by revenge or fear of what the neighbors might say. He lived to love, honor, and obey God. He was right with the Lord, and that was his essential qualification for the awesome responsibility of nurturing and protecting the fetus, the infant, the child, the adolescent Jesus Christ, our Redeemer and Lord. Yet, to the 21st century ear, there's still something quaint and antique about the concept of righteousness. Perhaps it smacks of the muscular Christianity that was the hallmark of less tolerant times. Thankfully, the pendulum has long since peaked on that arc, but has it swung too far in the opposite direction? Arguably, we live in a world now governed by situational ethics, where good and evil are relative terms, and righteousness is an absolute and therefore obsolete concept. So what does it mean, if anything, to be righteous today? It means what it's always meant, to be right with God, to live to serve His purposes. And that means, like Joseph, we're called to be merciful, not to be avenging angels. We're called to be obedient, to righteously shoulder whatever responsibilities God gives us. We're called to be channels of His love, not miserly hoarders of His blessings. But how do we know when we're right with God? Is there a digital righteous meter? Or perhaps like Olympic divers or figure skaters, a heavenly panel of judges scores our every move? Well, no. But there's something infinitely more accurate. The Word of God alive in us every day. It tells us that righteousness is not a destination. It's the path we choose when we follow Christ. It's when we regularly seek and follow His will, when we don't need a burning bush to sense His presence, because our life is an ongoing conversation with God. When we know what would Jesus do is not a bumper sticker, but a reflexive template for our lives. And finally, we know we're right with God when Jesus welcomes us all home with a loving, well-done, good, and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your Lord. This has been Father David Celery with this week's Focus. To learn more, visit me at davidcelery.org or follow me on Facebook, iTunes, or Twitter. God love you.